welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Selena Zinchak today I am done with my 30 days hair growth challenge I started the challenge on February 1st and I ended it on March 1st just in case if you are new to my channel you don't know what all I was using I mix do grow hair fertilizer Jamaican black castor oil sulfur 8 Indian hemp and my miracle S secrets growth oil so I mix all of these together and then I was applying it to my hair every three days and I did shampoo my hair after every 15 days now that the challenge is over i just wanted to come and let you guys know that i'm done with the challenge and for me to give you my feedback on it and what i think about it i know some of you guys think these ingredients are not great for our scalp looking at the grease part it's true there are some things that i mix in grease which is not good for your hair and your scalp but I don't think it's that bad if you are using it as a sealant. Um, some people commented that the way I'm applying it to my scalp, I'm going to clog my pores. It's not too much concern about that because I already knew what I was going to do when I'm done with my challenge. So if you plan on using grease on your scalp, I would recommend that after every 30 days that you do clarify your hair there are so many things you can use to clarify your hair if you are not into DIYs I would say get a clarifying shampoo but I use my bentonat clay and my apple cider vinegar to clarify my scalp so let me just show you guys what I did after the 30 days of using grease on my hair which I know that nothing bad is going to happen to my hair it's still going to flourish and grow so this is what i did after the 30 days this is how i care for my hair after the 30 days so please take a quick look at the clip and then i will come back and give you guys my final review on it to clarify my hair after my 30 days challenge i'm using my apple cider vinegar some tea tree oil my bentonite clay and just regular spring water i'm going to add in about 10 drops of my tea tree oil which is also great for scalp health and then i'm adding in three tablespoons of my apple cider vinegar and i'm going to mix that with my spring water adding in more water as necessary until i get the consistency that i want after getting the perfect consistency of my bentonite clay i'm just going to take my time and apply it to my head and my scalp making sure that i'm also adding it to my scalp and then i will part my hair in smaller section so that i can be able to get every bit of my scalp bentonite clay should never be stored in a metal container or stir with a metal spoon the clay observes the metals and it becomes less infective bentonite clay is also rich in minerals like silica calcium magnesium sodium iron and potassium
applying the deep conditioner to my entire hair. I also went in with my scalp massager for about 15 minutes. I'm now just going to cover my hair with two plastic bags so that I can trap enough heat in and then sit under my steamer for 15 minutes. After I just left the deep conditioner on my hair for two hours and then I rinse it out. This is just a regular steamer that you can connect your blow dryer to it. But I plan on looking into the advanced one because I know that steaming your hair with your deep conditioner is very important for your hair health. But I picked this up from Amazon in case you are interested in it. So after my deep conditioner treatment, I just style my hair as usual, like what I normally do. And I just took it out and put it into this cute little stack. So the million dollar question that you guys want to know, did my hair really grow within the 30 days while using this product? My answer will be yes. I noticed a change in my hair and I noticed a change in my hair length. This 2020, I decided to go on a one year hair growth journey, which I plan to do um, challenges this 2020. Now, when I am doing my hair growth challenge, this is the time that I see that my hair really grow faster because I dedicate my time to it and I do a lot of scalp massage if you have problem with these other ingredients, I would recommend even just mixing Jamaican black castor oil with a very good growth oil that you have. I have my S Secrets growth oil and my caffeine growth oil. You can just mix those three oils together for those of you who have my oils. And then you can also use that to massage your scalp with it, which will stimulate blood flow and that will lead to hair growth. So whatever product that you are using to grow your hair out, I would recommend that going in with a scalp massage. That would create a big, big difference in your hair growth. So I wouldn't say that because I use this exact product, my hair did grow. There were other things in which I also did, like my regular scalp massage. And then I also used my DIYs, deep conditioners which I made of all natural ingredients and those ingredients are proven to increase your hair growth rate. So yes, my 30 days challenge is over and I did get a good feedback from it. Now in the future, I'm going to definitely use this mixture again, but I'm going to use it as a sealant on my hair because I noticed that my hair kept moisturized for a longer period of time. You can even just mix it with a leave-in conditioner, add a little bit of leave-in conditioner and a little bit of grease, and then massage it on your hair strands and put your hair in twists or braids if you are suffering from dryness. How about that German on the challenge? Can you please let me know um, your feedback from it? Did you notice any extra growth? Um, did you complete the challenge for the 30 days. Are you still on the challenge? I would love to hear your feedback down below in the comment section. And to all my new subscribers, I say welcome. I'm officially welcoming you to the family. My channel is about DIYs, natural hair and beauty. If that's something that interests you, do not forget to join the family. We reach 30K subscribers. Yay! I am so, so excited for that. And I could not have done this without you guys. So thank you so much. Thank you for all the shares that you did with my video, encouraging your friends and family members to join my channel. I really, really do appreciate that. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.